Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. We've got three awesome sets of Harlequins that are one force, uh, which is just a phenomenal thing to work on uh, for our client. Um, project started with these three uh, Shadow Sears. Again, some really awesome miniatures. I absolutely love the Shadow Sears sculpt. I think it's got such, a, uh, such an amount of elegance to it. Really, really cool set of different mask color schemes per corresponding force to the sol uh, to the Shadow Sear as well, which is really great. Um, I love the high contrast basing as well. So you've got some really lovely colors that are used on each of the mask color schemes. And then we've got a high contrast base basing scheme to go with that. So in this case, obviously, we've got the orange and green and blue on this chap uh, with this really sort of Arctic Tundra kind of basing, which just works really, really well. Uh, so that's just the first of the three uh, Shadow Sears. We've next got the yellow and purple. Again, really, really good color relationship just on the yellow and purple here with that white neutral color as well, uh, just in the midsection, just to obviously help with that transition. Um, I absolutely love the green jungle basin on this as well. That green contrasting and complementing the purple of the actual uh, force uh, scheme as well, extremely well. Uh, so that's just this other shadows here. And then the last one, which again is, is really, really cool, is uh, we've got this pink and white uh, scheme that's then got a really nice sort of magma kind of like volcanic world kind of basing scheme across it as well, which is just really lovely. And again, I love the glowing runes on the sort of eldritch kind of rock and stuff that's just on the base of these. But again, a really cool uh, color scheme that, that works extremely well with that pink and yellow with the white neutral tone as well with a little accent of blue in there. Uh, which is just great. So we've got the three different masks which go with each of the Shadow Sears. Uh, I do really love the fact that the basing scheme works all the way through the force, so all of them have the corresponding uh, colors. Um, each of the three forces has got a Death Jester as well, exactly the same again with the, uh, the, the corresponding basing scheme. And the Death Jesters are really painted to an exquisite level, just really lovely and clean with loads of little freehand diamonds on there. Um, the amount of time and effort that does go into doing all the different freehand diamonds across the forces is just something that, you know, when you do put that time in with us and get that, that quality of project, you do have something which just looks absolutely jaw dropping. Uh, again, this really nice uh, Death Jester with this. I love the moss growing up on the Eldritch Rock as well. I think that's a really nice sort of nod to it, the little tuft on the top part just shows that that rock and that sort of uh, masonry has been there a long time. We've got the last of the three Death Jesters here. And again, with those lovely glowing runes that are just on the on the Eldritch Rock as well, which I do really love. The, the colour transition from the pink to the yellow to the white on the cloth work as well is just done extremely well. Um, then we've got a lovely selection of, uh, of uh, Harlequin troops through the force, um, each led by various troop masters. So we've got a few troop masters in the force as well. Again, just some of my favorite models uh, from the Harlequin Ranger Troop Master. Um, it's got a really kind of awesome sort of nod back to some of the earlier models from sort of second and third edition with those huge quiffs, uh, which is just great. Uh, there's a set, there's a quite a lot of elegance to, to Harlequins as well, I think, as models and also as just as, as from, a, from a painting perspective. They do really, really, uh, they are a great uh, set of models to actually uh, paint as well, which is something quite nice. Um, we've also got a, um, a solitaire in this force that's painted in only one of the masks uh, sort of schemes in this sort of uh, more orangey and sort of bluish kind of uh, colorway. Um, I do love the use of the green on the diamonds just coming off the cape as well. I think that's a really lovely little detail. Then we're on to all of the uh, the boats uh, that go with these, these guys and girls. Um, we've got a nice selection of Sky, Star and Void Weaver. Uh, so a really nice selection of all of those in this force. Uh, just gives a, a nice hard hitting part of, of, of like the force to the sort of more delicate glass cannon aspect of the infantry and characters. Um, and again, that's mirrored in each of the three uh, masks as well. Uh, again, I personally, I think out of the three colorways, if I had to choose one, I think the purple and yellow is my personal favorite from this force. I just really love the, the use of the purple and the, the, the jungle basing. I think it just works extremely well, but exactly the same in this, this sort of uh, third of the of the force with the, uh, the the force makeup the star sky and void weavers to complement the infantry we've then got some of the harlequin troops as well which again are lovely models uh, again it's exactly the same the tassels being done in green as well as that accent color to the yellow and purple uh, and the diamonds specifically on these as well have been done with a white tone just a really sort of nice cool kind of neutral tone just on the models which i think is quite great uh, so that's the, uh, the purple and yellow mask and then we've got let's have a look at some of the infantry and models from the, uh, the the sort of pink and yellow sort of scheme mask again really cool set of dynamic poses in the harlequin kit i do absolutely love them um, but this one this this lady just literally just landed on a rock there 
and uh, just looks like she's parried someone or just uh, just sort of swiped with a sword and taken someone out. But again, the use of the blue for the gems, I think just works really, really well on this. And that, that blue and pink kind of uh, complement color scheme just, just works really nicely. And again, the magma bases or the lava world bases just look really, really great. Uh, so that's the, uh, the pink and yellow, uh, a third of this Harlequin force. Again, really nice set of miniatures. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to work on this force, like to bring all of these different colours and tones together in a unified force. Um, I do hope that you've liked it ever so much. Let us know in the comments which one of the three is your favourite colour scheme or, or mask colour scheme from these three. Uh, let us know. We'd really appreciate to hear what you guys think. If you're looking for a Harlequin army and you'd like to get in touch with us for a commission, then hopefully this gives you a really good idea of what is achievable with us here at Siege. Uh, if you aren't interested, the link to our website can be found in the description of this video. Uh, we can obviously get a quote over to you if you get an inquiry into us. Thank you ever so much. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Take care.